<laughs> Michael Lyon, as you know, is a fine actor. He's got a new show, a new NBC series called Little House on the Prairie, which will start in September. Would you welcome Michael Lyon? Hi. Okay. Last time you were here, you were talking about the uh, the special. It was that time it was just a, a special little house on the prairie, and it did so well. I understand you're going on now as a. That's right. We're back series. on the air with a with another series. Are you going to direct them too? You directed that last one, did you? Or yes, I directed the the two hour pilot. I'll do probably uh, four out of the first thirteen, yeah. and then uh, hopefully I'll do a few more because we're picked up. Can you be objective as a director when, you, when you're in the scene yourself? Can you step out and go back and say, hey, now I'm looking at Mike Lyon and I'm the director? Yes. Oh. Uh, okay. Mike can do that. Not a favor. Not a favor, Mike. Takes care of that question. And just stop it right in there, Mike. A lot of actors can't. They say, uh, most, most actors, they say, make not good directors because they, they can't see the forest, the trees, or the trees for the forest. It's one of those two. No, I think, I think uh, for an actor, once you left the mirror, you're okay. Let the honey sick from the drip, but don't let the bird die. <laughs> let the honey sip from the tree. Sound like David Carradine. Well, I don't know. You two people are talking, and Ed is standing there going, that's true, that's definitely true. <laughs> I sure love you and Johnny Belinda. Oh, the little one's in Don't turn on me. I love you. We're two Jews on a hike. <laughs> My people, can you imagine if they played it legitimate? Have the men move it out. <laughs> you love you, you think a Gentile owns a big ranch like the Ponderosa? <laughs> Carson lays back when he thinks it's trouble. <laughs> He's my friend. He and I, we oh, came. I know you told that. me so many times. Jeez. Did you ever work at anything together? Don and I? No, you and that uh, set over there. <laughs> no, we've been together on several occasions. Right, yeah. Uh, but I've never had anything to do. <laughs> he's as a very actor. volatile human being. As an actor. He, yes. But he went, no, not as an actor. He's, he's a, a fine director. He really is. I'd love to. But he, uh, he went to drama school. Did you know that? Who did? The television set over there. <laughs> Talking about Don what happens is this is uh, him. Rickles went to uh, the Oh, Don. The oh, well. I went to the American Academy of Dramatic Arts, which that and two cookies wins me a trip to Disneyland. Uh, he's I a did. hell of an actor. I think he's a fine actor. I don't know for the people out there who have seen Don in, in dramatic performance, he's a fine actor. Well, thank you, Michael. Now, you can tell from the reaction that people feel the same way. Yeah. <laughs> See, when I do speak, I got something to say. A little coffee to relax, John. You're awfully quiet tonight, I'll say that. Well, that's why I... Uh, no, well, you're talking, though. This is your spot. I'm here with Ed trying to figure out... Well, I was out. talking to John. Oh. Did, you, did you attend an, an acting school? Yes, I was... Uh, I went to a dramatic school at Warner Brothers Studios. Uh, it was a free school. They didn't pay the actors, right. and for a long time they they worked that way. Uh, and that school was dissolved at a certain point when uh, this is many years ago, like 20 years, when when Jack Warner found out they had it. Uh, <laughs> he came up one day and said, "What is that?" And the coach said, "It's a dramatic school." And he said, "It's closed." And that was the end of it. I didn't know that you. Yeah. Uh, I was washing the executives' cars. That's how I got on the lot. I drove the cars in, and I went to dramatic school there for about four months. It was a good school. But they, you didn't get... You had to pay for that, or what? No, no. They didn't pay me. I didn't pay them. It was a, just a freebie thing. And What was your first part? First part that I ever did... Tell the uh, truth, I saw it, too. For, for money? Yeah, the thing with the ape, when you played the... You the, know, ape, the ape? No, no, with the head. You were a vampire. What? No, no, I was a werewolf. That's... Don't you love dogs? I was a tell him about that. I was I was a teenage werewolf. Was my first. Uh, I was a teenage werewolf. No, I was. No, I know. I know. <laughs> See, that was a. No, no. Well, it's a fourteen years on the ranch. Didn't hurt the old brain. I want to tell you. <laughs> well, Jim Arness once was in uh, what was the creature from the Black Lagoon? No, he was in the thing. 
Uh, well, that's close. The thing. Close. The thing. And he had this big uh, giant frozen asparagus. <laughs> Marvelous. <laughs> Why don't you shut up, Johnny, and get on with it? Okay, let's, let's, let's uh, do it this first. <laughs> I hope your pencil gets a rupture. <clears throat> How can a pencil get a rough? I don't know, but we're trying to keep it rolling. Okay. <laughs> we'll take a small break here. <laughs> we'll come back. We'll come back. Yeah.